today we're going to be doing some a little car hunting we want to change out our cars and we decided to take the day to just go around and look at a, well the options in Kingston and look at a few of the cars at the dealerships our first stop is going to be Honda we will stop there and look at the Type R, the CRV, and the Civic if they have it and we'll go to a few other places like Kia, Hyundai, Audi, VW and BMW, BMW right and just to see what the options are um, don't know if you know but if you don't know we have two sport cars now we have a VW GTI and we have a Mini John Cooper works right so we're thinking about getting either a another sports <laughs> car <laughs> With a four door one, right? A four door with more space, um, or a SUV. SUV. So, we'll be taking you on this journey with us to look at various options and cars, and hopefully, we we'll see something that we like or something that catch our eye. Camila and today we're gonna to be looking at the Type R doing some car shopping and this is the 2021 Type R as you can see very very nice I'll show you the inside this plastic <laughs> and let me give you an idea of the trunk space as well So tell us a little bit about it, Camilla. It's a two-liter turbo engine. Very, very nice. It's six shift as you can see, or as you saw earlier. It also has reverse sensors, reverse camera, and a camera on the left side. And how much is it going for? Currently 9.25. And what year? It's 2021. And what colors do you have in stock? Currently we have gray, white, red, and boost blue. Moose blue? Yeah, it's a new blue. You have a swash or anything that we can look at? No, not 20. 20 inch rims with run flat tires. Let's see what's under the hood. Ricardo guys, Ricardo sold yeah. us the mini yeah, and yeah. now we're here at Kia <laughs> and look who it is, it's Ricardo. <laughs> so Ricardo, guess what? We're looking to change vehicles. Yes. Because you know we have Royal and we might get more soon. Yes. So we're here to look for something that is a cross of performance and still functionality. Okay. Performance and functionality. What are you going to show us today? We have um, the, the Celtos. We have it in two packages. We have the GT line, which I think is more assorted for you because of your style, mm -hmm. of course. Um, we have the Stinger. The Stinger is a, is, is a, is a, is a special case. Listen, my friend has a Stinger. I love it. Yes, yeah. And then I would recommend the Sorento because Sorento is, is officially one of the best um, family size SUV you can get. It has the power. It has a style, so it's, it's worth the consideration. It has a 2.2 turbo diesel option. That this is not for everybody, but you but know, don't knock it until. Yeah, man, <laughs> it's more affordable than gas, so don't knock it until you try it. 
the, those three options though from Kia is what I would you know entertain you with today. You have them on the showroom today? We do. We All do. right, so let's go look at them. Sorento is a full-size seven-seater um, family SUV. Um, it offers to you a 2.2 turbo diesel engine. It offers to you a 2.5 petrol and a 3.5 naturally aspirated um, petrol engine. Probably depends on um, your, your, your need um, for power, fuel efficiency, you name it. Amongst, the, among, amongst those, I would recommend the 2.2 turbo diesel. It's fuel efficient, it's powerful, and it's more it's more cost effective when they talk about you know fueling up and longevity um also with a diesel vehicle it's the structural integrity is a little bit more solid than a petrol vehicle because of course diesel need you know all of that reinforcement for all of the you know the shaking and the the wear and tear that happens over time and then because of the overall space that you're getting here you know you might start with one, but the family might extend. So uh, this can, you know, last year to a, a good, a good, um, you know, ten years if needs be, realistically. But it's a fantastic option to work with. You have the key. The, yes, the design is very modern as well. One of the unique things about the Sorento is that from entry level, you get this unique grill setup. So when you, by the time you reach um, the GT package, it will look the very same. So if you are not really looking out um, for a few aesthetic changes with the outside you will not know that the entry level is entry level or the, 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 the GT line is the, the GT line because it looks the very same from the front this come with sunroof? it comes with the sunroof at the GT line package how yeah. much is it? 9.5 for the base or for the GT line? for the GT line this one here starts at 6.7 4.5 mm -hmm. Um, and then it's scaled uh, up between five different packages that we have right now but right now we're having a challenge with rental availability what we have now is a few 2.2 turbo diesel 2.5 petrol and 3.5 v6 petrol which is that one the 3.5 is a fully loaded one in the petrol version we don't have any fully loaded turbo um, diesel right now this is a Celtos. This is the GT line Celtos. If you're looking for sporty, sporty aesthetics, um, a lot more attention to details in terms of daytime running nights, meeting a little bit. Um, the red, the red accent thing just to give you, you know, a little bit of what you like. Definitely, it's worth. A little flare. Yeah, a little flare. Yeah, man, it's worth going for. Um, it's a nice, it's a very nice sports five-seater SUV to work with. The interior. It's pretty much the same. Yeah, man. So, you see that it's um, consistently the same. And that is what you get um, when you talk about value for money. Because I say, you, you won't know. If you're looking at it um, first and you won't know that, you know, you're driving this or you're driving that from a clear group because all, everything is consistently the same. looks good with slight variations. And so this, this, now, this now gives you, you know, a nice... And I set up a 1.6 liter natural aspirated um, engine, so I was said goodbye to the turbo life <laughs> from the woman. Yeah, man, I know about that. Yeah, man, and then you have here, you know, a full size spare. So this one won't give you a turbo, but the Sorento does. How much is this going for? How so, much is the Celtos? So the GT Celtos comes in at um, 6.495 with room for negotiations. Um, 
the oh I've get a password already. Right. So six point four. Okay. Right. All right, so we're here at Audi and we're talking to Andre to see what our options are to get a, as we told you, we're looking for a vehicle with performance and still family oriented. Mm -hmm. So no S nothing. Let's look at the Qs. Yes. So tell us what you have. All right. My, tell us what you're going to show us. My immediate suggestion when you said you want something that is sporty but still for the family would be the Q5. Actually, which is, which is this right here. This right here. Q5 has um, a couple different packages. This is one of my sportier packages. Uh, I also have the Q5 Sport Pack, which is an even sportier looking version, which is just over behind that one. So you say you have the Q5 and the Q5 Sport Pack? Yes. So the Q5 has a two liter turbocharged engine, whether petrol or diesel. Uh, this one that we're looking at here is a petrol, giving you 252 horsepower. Uh, it's all-wheel drive, so you know you get that control. You can, you know, punch it in some corners, and you have that high level of control that you would expect. Um, and the Q5 has just undergone a facelift, which has given you the upgraded interior and some upgraded exterior elements as well. Uh, that I can show you individually. How much are they going? 2020. It's 2020. Okay, 2021, but how much is it? This particular one is about 14.5. What's the difference between the regular Audino and the Sportback? Um, the difference between the Q5 and the Q5 Sportback is primarily the Sportback. Yeah. <laughs> primarily, I'm gonna say that. VW with Duane yes, and we're going to look at the Tiguan yes. today. Duane sold us the GTI. Yeah, sold us the GTI and earlier we saw Ricardo who sold us the the JCW. Yes. All right. So Duane, mm -hmm. let's go over to the Tiguan and let's yes, walk man. through the specs and the prices. Alright, so I'm gonna tell you a spec similar to the one ideally that you wanted. This one is called the Tiguan Space 4x2 Comfort Light. <laughs> now, for starters, it comes with the full LED light package that are adaptive. So what this means, when you turn in the steering, the headlights turn with the steering for better visibility while approaching corners at night. Now, it is equipped with the 18-inch alloy wheels with the rough road suspension package. So let me explain to you what I mean by that. VW did the survey of the Caribbean and realized that road conditions out here are not the same 
as in Europe or in the United States. So we'll kind of tweak the suspension a bit to facilitate these work conditions out here to give you a smoother drive quality, longer lasting front end parts. We're very big on safety. So let me just state that, which I'm proud to say. We are one of the few SUVs in this market. Reinforced color. Now solid steel just not on our level. In the A, B, and C pillars. So what that means, God forbid it if you have a meeting an accident and the unit turns over with you, the roof would never cave in. The doors are also padded with reinforced steel plating, so any side impact, the doors are coming in on this. I realize that here you have the baby with you, so let me show you a practical function to this video. Now, so Mr. Eubanks is driving and you want to feed the baby on the go. It has a convenience space that you can utilize. You have your cola and you can utilize your tablet, your laptops, or eat food on the go. So it's a very practical issue. Now the reason why they call it L space, as you can see, there's a lot of leg room for the passengers in the back. And worst case scenario, if you need to carry additional people, mainly children, you have the access to table seats by Capabilities of utilizing the third row seats if you need to carry additional passengers. The leg room, mainly for children, but if you need to fit an adult around there, the second row seats I can slide forward to adjust, facilitating the third row passengers. Ah, oh, that really cool. Yes. It's all about practical functions. No, see here, person that like to store a lot of items. We have storage compartments underneath the driver seat, passenger seat, in the dashboard, and behind the seats. new in this model it has an eight and a half inch high definition touchscreen infotainment system 1080p pixel quality so it's like your smartphone your tablet your laptops in terms of pixel quality another new feature to this vehicle it has gesture control so you can use your hand and swipe across the screen So it has gesture control. Yeah, that really cool. But right here, it still look the same. It's not change. This look like a worker. another No, yes. The R line model, the dashboard is full digital with the heads up mm. display that comes from the dashboard. Oh, lovely. That's nice. Yeah. What also, what they did new with this vehicle, voice command was always tied into Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. That's no longer the case. You can use it on external functions beyond Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So, for example, purposes. Media. Do you want to select a source, a track, or an album? Source selection. Sorry, you cannot currently select any tracks. Please try again later. Alright, yes, so that is voice command for you. Mm -hmm. What's also new, it now uses USB-C ports because that's the way moving forward. Mm -hmm. Another safety, safety feature to this vehicle, if you are driving on a toll road, you feel a bit fatigued and you tend to sway, this the vehicle will study your body pattern and emit charming noises to keep you alert. Ah. Yes. That's cool. Another thing. That is what I love about this vehicle. You have a system called emergency crash response system. Cause like I said, we're very big on safety. So what, what that, that system does, say you're doing 120 kilometers, you get a phone call, but you look down on your phone and you look up, there's a corner road, you hit that car at 120 kilometers. What takes place in this vehicle? Most SUVs now, the engines are designed to shift 45 degrees downwards, but in a Volkswagen, we've taken it a step further. So. The engine shifts 45 degrees downwards after impact or hazard lights turn on 
your seat belt releases after it retracts, your doors unlock after impact, and your fuel pump disconnects from the fuel line just in case of a fire. Unique to the speaker. We've set the benchmark when it comes to safety. Wow, that's nice. Another cool practical feature, say, you're driving and you don't have the time to really fiddle with the AC unit here in terms of the, the knobs. You can actually control it from the infotainment system. You can touch climate control and you can actually adjust the fan speed and you can adjust the temperature for you, me, and Rory in the back. What this vehicle does, and it's only in the Tiguan, it has a feature called air care. What this feature does, once activated, it uses the filters to filter out the dust particles from inside this vehicle. You'd only find it in this vehicle. Volkswagen is one of those conservative brands, but it's unassumed. And all of these features are in the R line as yes, well, plus more. So if this is just a comfort line, Everything I mentioned that's in this vehicle is also in Ireland with more. Tell me the price of this vehicle. This vehicle is currently 7.1 million. Okay. Yeah. List price. Yes, list price. Okay. We're actually having a sale event coming up shortly, so I should be getting the sale prices pretty short. And uh, how much is the airline? 9 million 650. for the day we went to four places and Royal is now getting very cranky so we have to take him home uh, we went to Honda we looked at the Thai bar went to Kia went to Kia we went to Audi and we went to VW um, the only place we haven't been to is BMW that we said we would go to <coughs> but um yeah so we looked at the Thai bar the CRV Celtos, mm -hmm. the Sorrento, um, the Audi Q5, yeah. and the Q5 Sportback, Sportback and, the we looked, and the Q3, and we looked at the VW Tiguan. We don't know which one we're going to pick yet, and we still have to go to BMW. There's some sale coming up also, which we should benefit if we do decide to select one of the, the cars, the vehicle. So we're gonna do some research on them, try to get some test drive also. Okay, it doesn't make sense you only look on it and, 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 and touch the material and stuff like that. Well, you need to drive it. That's one of the main to really get the experience. Yeah, that's one of the main functions of a vehicle. So So we'll be scheduling some test drives and let us know if you're interested to see how those go. Um but yeah, that's it. DIY fam, welcome to our car life. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys! <laughs>
them not have the type R on sale. The only cars they have is the CRV. Civic and the Accord. And the Accord, right? Um, we wanted to get a test drive of the type R today, but them not have that. So uh, the sales rep says she's going to see if she can set up something so we can at least feel how the suspension feels. So until then, we are leaving Honda. Um, yeah. We also got the details from the financial institutions pertaining to their rates. So some of them are pretty good. Uh, 6.75 and 6.5. Um, 10 years of payment. I think one of them went up to 11 years. Yeah. I think that was BMBS. 1% yeah. processing fee. Except for JN with a 3% processing fee. So we're going to go to pre-own, ATL pre-own now to see what they have on the bar sale and we'll let you know if we see anything that we like. Uh, well, that should have more options since it's not limited to a specific brand. So let's see if we see anything interesting. Fake M. <laughs> I 
like it. It's nice. The color, it has a nice burnt orange color, which you're not going to see nowhere else. It's very different. I like it. But no to the old BMW. Alright, so now we are at BMW, ATL BMW. And we're going to check our rep inside to see what's on sale and the bus sale. One of the vehicles that I'm anxious to see is the X4 because I like it and Rory loves the three. What do you love Rory? The well, three I like, I like the, the X4 also and the three series. The three series. I, 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 like, the M, I like the M3, but <laughs> too much money. <laughs> so we're going in. It's Royal is sleeping, but we're going inside and we'll show you around. And let's see if we see anything that we like in there. Yeah. Let's go. And this is our 2021. No, it's our 2022. <laughs> right? So we level up already. Uh, beneath this bonnet lies your 2 liter twin power turbocharged engine. So you're getting 258 horsepower, 400 newton meters of torque. It's a rear wheel drive, so you can have a lot of fun. It has a traction control, so it's control fun. Um, it's a 2 litre engine, so it's not going to burn as much gas as a 3 litre and it still gives you a lot of power. Now, it has the latest technology, it has a BMW Active Grill, so these vents will automatically open and close for better air intake, fuel efficiency, aerodynamics. Um, lovely enough to catch this color in the showroom, as it is the flagship color for the actual unit. Right? So this is called the Poitimail Blue. Uh, this is the top of the line M Sport package. So M Sport package has to do with the body kit of the car, the rims and the interior. So you have your 18 inch M wheels with your Michelin run flat tires. M back on the side. It has the proximity comfort access. So as long as the keys on your person. Once you approach the car, it automatically unlocks all of the lights come on, etc. Welcoming you into the car. When you walk away, it automatically locks and you're secured. It has a sunroof. Shark In the very literal sense, a three dimensional. 
dimensional L shape tail light with the shadow glass up top. So a dual exhaust due to the two liter. Um, this car is self parts. The parallel parts itself takes itself out of a parallel spot and parts facing out. If you're about to hit anything behind you, it will automatically break. And of course, as long as it keeps on a person, it has a kick release drop, so it just whoop, comes up. Tremendous amount of cargo space. Right. You can fit like five of me in here. And of course, why not? Sorry. Oh yeah. Now what lights up the whole ground? Your puddle lights. Look on how luxurious inside is at your feet. You don't want any mud or anything like that. So it guides you accordingly. You know, that hey, watch out for that darkness or whatever stepping into the car. Yes. Um, you have your amazing ambient lights that you can change into multiple colors. Uh, touch screen interface. Complete digital cluster gauge. You have your very own personal assistant. Hey, BMW. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, panor well, sunroof. Not um, panoramic. Not panoramic. Very small. A body can't it's, fit it's through there. Very, it's not very small. Um, and it has your curtain airbags. So boom, boom, boom all the way. It has your knee airbags, steering, dash. So just in case of a collision, you know, everyone is inside. Everyone inside will be fully protected. You know, so you can't put a price on safety. How much is this unit? This particular unit is on sale for 11 11 what? 11 million dollars. I mean, it comes standard with a service and warranty package for three years and it covers all parts except the tires. So, as you know, customer, right? It is the best package on the market right now, right? And made forever be that way. Yeah? Do you have any questions? Just